Jeff, their refusal to grant you your terminal benefits takes nothing away from the role that you played. You are part of our history. Jeff, you are a giant amongst people like Bill Saidi, William Sarura, Tony Sakaike, Devson Marisiva, Desmond Kumbuka was talking on the phone as we sit <laughs> Mark Chakunduga, Andrew Morris, and Christina, amazing journalists of integrity and credibility. I will quote Jeff as I walk towards the end. There's a very touching paragraph. And I've titled that touching paragraph in, in your book. You say, what went wrong? And I quote, you say towards the end of it, you say, this then is the sad narrative of my tragedy and personal misfortune. It is a tale that I narrate a painful lengthy, at a painful length rather, because my professional career as a journalist was not only long, it was also unusually painful. It is a story that I tell in a bit to address the question, both spoken and unspoken, by friends and relatives, including my own children, as well as my, as well as by com complete strangers. But what exactly went wrong? And Jeff, I know you and I will discuss, uh, I could disagree with this. this. This is my answer, Jeff. The question is, but what exactly went wrong? My answer, Jeff, is nothing went wrong. You ran your race, and this book captures the painful details of that race. Yes. Jeff, the, I've tried to extricate a couple of lessons uh, uh, from your book, and for me the lesson is a life of ethics, values and principles is a lonely and painful one. The impact of your work might not have benefited you, Jeff, but it will benefit posterity. Yes. The lessons that we as a society have not learned, Jeff, this society will continue to revisit. Greed and corruption, as you exposed in the Willowgate scandal, you and I sat for in conversation and you said, I wonder what uh, uh, Nyagogo will be thinking when it sees the extent of the corruption that is currently taking place in this country. You gave us an opportunity when you exposed Willowgate for us to make the, um, uh, the thing in the bar, in, bar, in the bar, but we didn't, and we continue to suffer, and it's now beyond them. That freedom of expression, Jeff, and press freedom have not been fully appreciated. And like I said, business community, the opposition, the ruling party do not understand the importance of journalism. I've lived this for the past 30 something years. Jeff, painful as your book was, sent me to Mrs. Nobe's sitting room there, painful as it was, depressing as it was. I'm grateful to the Lord for the journey which he's allowed you to walk. And by sharing that book, Jeff, you have let us in the toughness that you endured. Jeff, I am sure that the one who created you, when one day you finally meet, he will say, Jeff, as far as journalism is concerned, as far as human rights is concerned, as far as press freedom is concerned, well done, good and faithful servant. Well done. <laughs> Jeff, congratulations for the courage to write this book. I was saying to Matthew, couldn't have been easy writing this book. I would have written a safer book. <laughs> but this is not Jeff. Jeff doesn't do safe stuff. <laughs> um, and, and when Jeff was, I was reading, I was saying to myself, our society is not very good at celebrating each other. Mm -hmm. That's right. But I hope one day we find the decency to say people like William Sarah, 
people like uh, Jeff Nerota, how do we honor them? How do we honor them? What about a uh, naughty idea like the Jeff Nerota School of Journalism? Yes. 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 Jeff, congratulations on capturing a big part of his Tulachi experience. This is a, a legacy project, and thank you for the courage and the time. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.